Coming up on After Dark, Melissa O'Neill, Anthony Lemke and Julie Luby are here with Zoe Palmer to take us through tonight's troubling episode. Nukes, nightmares and an entire army of simulants. It was a rough day for the Raza. On the upside, androids rocking a bold new look. Plus, a sneak peek at next week's Dark Matter. So don't get spaced. After Dark starts right now. Welcome to After Dark. We're getting mighty close to the end of season three with only two episodes to go. So a lot went down in tonight's episode. There's a lot to talk about. And very luckily, we have two played by Melissa O'Neill. And of course, we have three played by Anthony Lemke. And also joining us again is the international blogger, Julie Luby from France. Thank you very much for being here. OK, so let's get into this. Three had a hell of a time this episode. <laughs> He's having a seizure. He needs medical attention. We have to go back to our ship now. Yes, yeah, I mean, like think... a harder time than most episodes, yes. and that means a lot. Did he ever suspect that the virus that Rook injected him with uh, still lingered? Uh, I don't. I don't think three displays that kind of forethought. You know, like, I'm better. Hey, it's all good. Uh, that was it. That was as far as it went. <laughs> No, um, I think so. Actually, you know, when something that serious happens and it's a virus that you've been infected with, yeah, of course it makes sense that there's some kind of ramifications. And um, although I was being a little flippant there with my response, I think that's actually one of his real strengths, that, that he's like, whatever, just, better, move on. He just on. moves on, you know, like he just gets on with it. Yeah, 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 I think that's fair. That's so while you were dealing with, um, you know, your things, the android uh, had a few of her own things to deal with, specifically two things in particular <laughs> to deal with. And we do have a little clip of just those two very things. If this new look makes you happy, that's all that matters. It's not so much this new look, but the very fact that I can choose a new look that makes me happy. Today it will be this. Tomorrow it might be something else. But the point is I now possess the autonomy to decide my own fate. What? So wow, there, that's so a beautiful scene, go. by the way. I, wa I remember watching that scene being filmed from behind the camera and uh, no you guys just beautiful from behind yes, yes. What, what I think is really fun is, is, is like the way it cuts between like you know the Sorry? and then you're <laughs> and you're wearing like you fur you or something, something. <laughs> and, like the fur is mounting up here and it's all closed off and then it's back to <laughs> and how did you see as a relationship between two and the android do you see like they're like kind of sisters I think more than anything in that moment, it feels like an equal. Like, well, it's such a warm, nurturing moment, mm -hmm. right, coming from two. She seems to genuinely be just checking in. Cosmic cosplay. Being the costume designer, I read the scripts. We have wardrobe meetings where we discuss ideas for the characters. So I'll present a sketch like this. And from this, Anna will do some research to find out where we can get some of the fabrics. Before I show anybody, though, I ask Anita in the time frame who will actually be able to build. And then I say no. <laughs> <laughs> and then I ask again, and Anita says yes. Because sometimes we only have, if we're lucky, seven days to make a costume in. So it goes from this to this. It's magical. And then to see it go on sets and see the hair and makeup done, and when you see that all together, you're like, oh, this is my job. <laughs> yeah. What about you? Do you have some questions for our gang? Of course. The aliens essentially supply everything for Dwarf Star, and they tell Three they can do the same for him. Again, Three's one of these interesting characters where he doesn't want to be the ruler of an empire. That's not his thing. He's not the type who's going to end up being, you know, the big bad in any show. It's just not who he is. Unless he does. Unless he does, because... Unless he gets a virus. He's kind of scary. You're not really five, are you? Of course not. Your mind is too primitive to grasp what we are, too frightened of the truth. So it seeks the comfort of familiar images. Wow. So it was kind of smart of those aliens to take the form of the Raza crew, no? I mean, I think, it's pretty, you know, I think it's pretty clear in that scene. You can sort of see where he switches. He's trying to figure out what's going on. And, you know, when they start insulting him, calling him a brute and calling him basically unintelligent, then immediately he's on the other side and they've lost him, right? It's, it's that simple. Did any of the aliens survive the nuclear blast? Here's hoping. Tune in and find out. Okay, so now, Anthony, I hear you've been telling the world the Raza's top secret door code. Let's check it out. Behind the scenes with Anthony Lemke. 
Some of the designs are actually interactive. This is a good example of one of them. Depending on what is supposed to happen in the story, this will display different messages. So here we have the door code. Oh, look at that, access granted. Now what if I entered a different door code? Oh, it's access granted. This is actor proof. I can't mess this up on the day. However, if it's supposed to be in the story, access denied, and then of course it'll say that, or whatever message that comes up here, no matter what I press here. Ugh, look at that, I get in again. Um, what about fan experiences? Have you guys ever had a really interesting or beautiful uh, exchange with a fan? I have one, but it's not related to me. It's related to you. Oh, I don't know. We were at a, a convention together, and it was a lovely lady who said, oh, I've got a tattoo, uh, Zoe and Anna, on my shoulder. And it's the first time I'd experienced that level of dedication. And of course, it wasn't you. It was your character. 100%. And what those characters represented yeah. and how it empowered her in her life to take steps and you know, yeah. to come out to her family yeah. and her community. It just frames the whole fan experience entirely differently. There's um, a little boy who, uh, at different conventions, has... Uh, I've never met him, but someone in his family comes and he sends this box of candy, and he is eight years old and has autism and says that the character of the android on Dark Matter, he said, it's the first time I've seen someone on, I can't, I'm not even gonna get through this, Aww. but it's the first time he's seen somebody on television that where he feel, where he got it. Aww. Where he went like, I get it, I, I'm like that. And I hope one day if you're ever out there to, that I get a chance to meet you. But um, what about uh, your favorite element of the Dark Matter world? For me, when I hear that question, I, I immediately think like, we can literally do anything and it can find a home given the right context. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think a lot of good sci-fi will talk about, you know, in inclusion versus exclusion. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a very different kind of thing and you can identify with an android trying to understand what her place within society is among humans. And it's, it's not unique to dark matter, it's the sci-fi world, but Joe and, and Paul and, and the rest of the creative team, they've embraced it with the themes that, that they've brought to the fore. And uh, I think that's what I like best about the show. Okay, we're gonna play a little game I like to call <laughs> Define It. Okay. I'm gonna give you some real serious space terms. All right. And your job is to give me your best definition. <laughs> Comet tail. Wow. It is the trail on a comet. Totally not. It's when you go out to a bar at night and you're looking for a little action with a comet. Nicely done, Anthony Lemke. <laughs> Melissa, exoplanet. Meh. It's a planet way, 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 way out in the solar system. Nicely done. Bang. Maglev boots. There are magnetic mag boots that you can wear on the exterior of a ship when you're in space. Nice. Absolute zero. Wow, that's me, generally speaking, the first take of the morning. <laughs> Okay, here's here's another one. Okay, go. We got neural this. Neural link. Yep. Got that one? Are you having a stroke? What's a neural link? I'm neural linking with you. That's Are you it. Sure? She was answering right there. I was doing it. Well, no. It's <laughs> when 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 the creature, either myself or yourself, can link up neur neuralistically to the to the thing that it needs to neurally link to. Yeah. Okay, our last one. Here it is. This is the one. This is the drum okay, roll you one. Ready? You both know this. Define. And Dark Matter. The best, oh, I forgot to quang. I'll, go, I'll do it with you. The best, best show, show ever! <laughs> Nicely done, point for both of you. You both are extraordinary, but only one of you can win, and I honestly don't care who. <laughs> You've been mugged! Oh. I just wanna say. <laughs> A very big thank you to Melissa and to Anthony and of course to Luby for being here tonight. That is all the time that we have. Take a look at what's coming up next week on Dark Matter. You're saying you trust him. He's done a lot of questionable, but he's always been a man of his word. I don't believe this. He has to. We have to go. No, we don't. Not when there's an easier, less risky way of getting her back. We're not giving him the blink drive. Why the hell not? We've got two of them. Give him the one that's fried. But if he manages to fix it... So what? You're okay with giving him the means to run roughshod all over the galaxy. If it's not him, it's gonna be somebody else with something else. Listen, you're not a cop anymore. Stop trying to police the galaxy. Start thinking about how to save your friend. Thank you all, all of you. This, all of this. Dark Matter fans, be sure to go to your local sci-fi website for more exclusive content. We will be back right here next week for more After Dark. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.